So this is a quick reminder on how to factor a square binomial. This is a square binomial that we're looking to factor. So here we have n squared minus 4n plus 4. And you will remember from class that the quantity a plus b squared is going to equal a squared plus 2ab plus b squared, which also means that if you had a minus b squared, that's going to be equal to a squared minus 2ab plus b squared. So you have to remember that. We have not we have not spent time talking about factoring things that are not square binomials, so we are only looking for a square binomial. So here's the thing. If I'm looking at this problem right here, this one right here, <coughs> what, uh, here are the things you need to ask yourself. Are the last two terms perfect squares? Yes. Are they? Yes. 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 Very true. OK. So the quest, so it could be a possible uh, square binomial. So a square binomial will have one set of parentheses, and it's going to be squared. The middle term's sign is going to match the middle, the number that goes in the middle. So is this one going to have a pl plus or a minus? It's going to have a minus. If this is a square binomial. Uh, what would the square root of 4 be? 2. two. two. So we'd have 2 here. What's the square root of n squared? N. n. So now we're going to, s so we've factored it, but we need to double check to make sure this works. And here's how you do this. The middle term is going to be negative 2ab. So we have negative 2ab. What is our a term in our binomial? It's n. What's our b term? Two. Two. So we have negative two times our a term, which is n, times our b term, which is two. Negative two times n times two is negative four n. Is this the middle term up here? Yes. Therefore, therefore, n squared minus 4n plus 4 is equal to this, n minus 2 squared. Here we have our factored form equation. Here we have our expanded form equation. And that's it. Kate looks unimpressed. Are you do another one? I am, right here. All right. Let's, let's try this problem right here. So uh, let's go through let's go through our first checks. Is this a perfect square? Mm -hmm. Yes, because it's squared. Yes. Square. Yes. Is this a perfect square? Yes. Yes. Then we have yes. a then we have a possible square binomial. So if this is a square binomial, then we will have one set of parentheses squared. The sign is going to match the middle term, middle term's sign. So what is our sign of our middle term? Is it positive? Is it minus? So we have a minus here. So if this is a uh, perfect square binomial, what would the square root of a squared be? A. What's the square root of 25? All right. So that part isn't too hard. The one thing you have to check is you need to check if the middle term is 2 times uh, AB. So let's check. So this is negative, so we're going off this. So we have negative 2ab. My a term is right here, happens to be a. Our b term is here, so let's plug it in. Negative 2, our a term is a. Our b term is 5. Negative 2 times a times 5 is negative 10a. Is that what we have up here? Yeah. It is. So therefore, a squared minus 10a plus 25 is in fact equal to a minus 5 squared. How do you know it's squared? This is a per this is a square binomial. So a square binomial will always have this. T 
tomorrow in class we'll have cases that don't, that, that'll have two pairs of binomial. Okay, but um, right now we're just working on that special case. Okay, um, if, if you can hear me, clap once. If you can hear me, clap twice. Here's the thing, in the instructions it says, if it is not factorable, write not factorable. If, if after you do this piece, if after you do this checking piece and you get a term that does not match the middle term, then the answer would be not factorable. And that's it.